Good morning, Damascus. Today is Friday the 13th. Welcome to a brand new season of WDHS. I am Devin Sauter. And I'm Randy Bass. Now let's get to your morning announcements. Senior photos, be sure to check the main office window for the time your scheduled senior portrait will be taken on Wednesday, September 25th or Thursday, September 26th. In order to have your senior photo placed in your yearbook, you need to have your portrait taken here at school by LifeTouch. To make an appointment, call 410-525-1700 or 1-800-445-1191. LifeTouch's information can be found on DHS homepage if you need more information. Attention seniors, we are looking for students to wear the letters for the senior class panoramic picture. The date for the picture is Wednesday, September 18th. If you are interested in being a letter, please sign up with your senior class president, Yin Yin Lau, who can be found in the main rotunda before and after school. You may also contact her via Twitter. This year we'll be wearing black t-shirts with gold duct tape, which can be purchased at Walmart. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Quay in room 12 or Yin Yin. As all of you know, you are required to have several SSL hours in order to graduate from Montgomery County Public High Schools. There are always questions surrounding SSL hours, so let's go to Ms. Mayhew, your SSL coordinator. Hey Damascus, it's Ms. Lori Mayhew, your Student Service Learning Coordinator, or SSL for short. I'm going to take you through a few of the things that you're going to need for SSL here at Damascus High School. The first is you're going to find our SSL bulletin board here by room 102. You'll find flyers, other information, and most importantly, your forms that you're going to need to fill out. The reflection form that you're going to do after you've completed the service and also the form you might need if you're not sure if the service is going to count. This is called a pre-approval form. You do that form, you talk over the service with me, and we get it approved that way, then you complete the reflection form. Now there's a few dates that you're going to need to know when you're completing your forms so that you get credit for all the service that you do. Now, one of the most important things that you're going to need to know is where to turn in that student service learning form. And right here, we have our main office. Now, when you come into the main office, we have our lovely secretaries. You are not going to need to bother them because they have gone ahead and put over here on the side a handy-dandy student service learning bin and you'll be able to turn your forms in in that bin. Okay, please place them there and not in my mailbox. Now we've tried to answer most of your student service learning questions. This bulletin board is located in the tech hallway just down from the cafeteria. And if this video, online, and this bulletin board don't answer your questions, you can come find me in my classroom, which is 105. I teach horticulture and plant science, and right over here is my classroom. Thank you for your time and opportunity, and I look forward to recording all those wonderful student service learning hours that you guys are doing. SSL Opportunities. The director of the Damascus Community Center is looking for some students to help with some seasonal projects at the rec center. You may contact Ms. Mayhew or go to the DHS website or check out the SSL board by room 102. SSL Opportunity. Sunday, October 13, 2013 is the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation Cycle for Life event. This activity requires pre-approval. See DHS website for volunteer form and details. NHS. We will be having our first meeting on Tuesday, September 17th, before school in room 120. The meeting will begin promptly at 7 a.m., so please try to be there a few minutes early. Please note that room 120 <coughs> is a new location. It can be found directly across the hall from the auditorium. If you have any questions regarding this meeting or NHS in general, please see Ms. Ward in the Media Center. Senior lunch. Your senior ID must be shown before you leave the building for lunch. Otherwise, you are not to leave the building. No exceptions. 
AOIT, attention AOIT members. Our first meeting of the year will be taking place next Wednesday, September 18th in room 144 from 2.15 to 3 p.m. All AOIT members must attend. Please see Mr. Wall in room 144 with any questions or concerns. We all know that Damascus High School is a great school to attend. It is very important that we always treat others with respect. Bullying, harassment, or intimidation are serious and will not be tolerated here at DHS. Now, let's find out what we can do if we witness or see someone getting bullied or harassed. It's no secret. Damascus High School is known. We are known for our notable teams, pride, traditions, and yes, we are even known for our cows. If you have not noticed, one of the greatest things about DHS is our ability to be a team, not only on the fields or courts, but in hallways and classrooms. In order to continue to thrive as a team, there can be no exceptions. At Damascus, we have a great school climate. Bullying, harassment, and intimidation are serious and will not be tolerated. If you find yourself or a friend to be a victim of bullying or harassment, here's what you can do. Yeah. First, you should tell a trusted adult. Say it! This could be a teacher or a counselor. They will be willing to listen and work it out as a team. Treating each other with respect is a core value at Damascus High School, and we have to actively work together to maintain our family-like school climate. We can't do that if we allow students to be treated with disrespect. You may not know this, but there is also a form you can complete to report bullying, harassment, or intimidation. Today, during seventh period, all students will be taking a copy of this form home. The bullying form is one way to share this information with the staff. Please remember that you do not have to complete the form to report behavior that makes you uncomfortable. You can also tell a counselor, teacher, or administrator. They can help as well. However, don't forget to take this form home as a reference and for future use. Most importantly, remember to treat your classmates with respect and support anyone you think is a victim of bullying in school or online. If you see something, say something. The staff and administrators here at DHS will always be willing to help work out the problem. Taking action is the first step to solving any problem. Club. Our first meeting is Thursday, September 19th after school in room 132. Bring a friend and bring your book suggestions. Debate team. If you are interested in joining the debate team, please see Mr. Anderson in room 253 between classes for more information. Support the DHS Music Boosters. Please visit Lido Pizza in Damascus on Tuesday, September 17th, 2013 and support the DHS Music Boosters fundraiser. The fundraiser is an all-day event and includes eat-in or carry-out orders. Powder Puff Football, the Athletic Booster Club, is hosting their annual Powder Puff Fundraiser on Tuesday, October 8, 2013 on the DHS Stadium Field. We are looking for girl players, team captains, and coaches for grades 9 through 12. For more information, email dasefcik at comcast.net or call 240-793-3374. Thanks. The girls' varsity soccer team improved the record to 3-0 last night by leading Wooten High School 2-0. The attack was led by Katie Kirschman, who found the back of the net twice. Her first goal was scored in the first half after Molly Kane cleared the ball out of the back. Her second goal came with four seconds left in regulation. Steph Cox sent the ball in from the left flank, and Katie was there to put it away. The girls' soccer team will be back in action on Monday night at BCC at 7. Seniors, the shirts this year are $10 and can be ordered online through underwater wear. And on Monday, there will be order forms for students as well because we can only sell shirts for a short window of time. Also, college recruiters that will be here today are the University of Alabama at 10 o'clock a.m. in room 133, more commonly known as the Career Center. Well, that's all the time we have for today, Damascus. And remember, for the most up-to-date list of announcements, please check out the DHS website. And also, here's a special shout-out to the DHS Drama Tech Crew. Thank you guys for all the hard work that you guys do. Have, have a, a great, great weekend, weekend, Damascus. Damascus.